Well, welcome to Tonight TV, uh, Andy, as always, uh, in the red corner. Hey, How are we going, Andy? All right, mate? Uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. It's uh, in, um, enjoyed last night, it was good. Yeah, again, on about last night, but Andy, I mean, if, well, before we get on about last night, I mean, club put all, you know, stuff out on social media about East and we clad in, you know, fascia, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Uh, and it was out of club's hands, you know, it was safety inspection what got done. We acted on it pretty quick. Uh, I know that I saw, and probably you did as well, and, uh, other fans on here what, uh, watching this, tents and marquees outside, you know, yeah. uh, working. And I thought, fair, fair play to uh, club, fair play to everybody who worked the socks off, but also fair play to supporters and all for being understanding patient and uh, still attending on a pretty cold night, Andy. Yeah. Um, yeah, first of all, club did what they had to do. Um, at first, when half on art, um, I didn't know till Maddie uh, sent me a text um, on about it and I just couldn't believe it. Um, but it's one of them things, um, whether it's just a little bit what's fell off or if and it nowadays I'll shut it because uh, health and safety and, uh, you know, where, where there's uh, blame, there's a claim and all that. So they, they can't, uh, you know, they, they can't uh, risk it. So they did the right thing. Um, like I said, I was a little bit frustrated. I had to go through to club but, uh, to exchange my ticket, but uh, now they handled it well. Um, and, yeah, uh, fans um, seem to adapt to it as well. It was weird. Um though looking at East End, completely empty. Uh, that was a strange yeah. thing. Um, but yeah, let's hope it's all right for next game. Let's hope they've uh, sent Khalid to be in queue to get some hard as nails and <laughs> get it to her too. <laughs> you can do it when you be in queue it. And there's other retail outs, out, out, outlets out there as well. I'm not getting sponsored by them at all. So <laughs> but if you want to do it, you can feel free and please join on. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, just going on from that, I mean, getting on to the game now. Uh, a cold night. It were a uh, you know, fair play to Portsmouth for all they brought about 1200. Yeah. Um, for a midweek game, it's a fair, fair play to them. Pleasing for me to see as well. They made a bit of a change, you know, being at Ponty End and probably feeling at West End as well. I get we on about with East End, or I call the brewery stand. Um, yeah. Empty. Uh, but what what was, I think, pleasing to see and it was different as well is like away fans segregated and then some of his own fans. And it made a bit of a difference. Personally, for me, I thought it made yeah. a bit of a difference where we had a bit of a, a vocal element over in that side as well. Yeah, um, I can see that. I mean, I've been sat in that stand before, in North Stand before, um, when we wait playoffs. Um, mm. And I just thought it's a bit strange. It, it, I, I don't know, I can't pop it into words. To me, that's that's always been a way end. Um, but yeah, um, again, they did all right to um, keep them separate. Um, so yeah, good planning, but... Uh, no, it what it what for me. If I'm honest, uh, I didn't want to go in there. Like I say, it, it it just feels really, really strange for me watching bands home in that stand. But uh, them all went in. Um, yeah, I heard that they had a, you know, um, again a good experience with a a makeshift um, turnaround in in stands. So yeah, again, all credit to the club really and fans. Yeah. Game in. I mean, Luke O'Connell came back, Andy. Um, yeah. And for me, Portsmouth, I think it wouldn't be one of them kind of games again where I hope referee didn't in, get involved too much. I think there were a few bookings were a bit mm, dubious at, at best. Uh, but end of the day, I'm not going to make it about that. But it was it were good for us to start on front foot again. I think yeah. Portsmouth were trying to make a bit of the game in it as well. And ironic that when Noah was scored, it was the time of everybody with, with, with lights were best efting. I mean, yeah, you couldn't, you know, whether it was, you know, God's looking down on us kind of thing. It just, it just seemed to be so fitting that uh, yeah. when Noah was scored, it, you know, you look round out well and you you saw it lights. Um, what were you taking that, Andy? As you've just said, it, you know, uh, timing on it was uncanny, uh, really, and yeah, fitting. Um, 
and yeah, again, um, credit to fans for uh, doing that on on that 16th minute. Um, but yeah, I couldn't have timed it no better to score a goal. Um, and I think we deserved it as well, um, overall. Uh, especially at first half, I thought we got far better team. And again, things looking good though, uh, looking really good. Um, I do think uh, we missed Connell. Um, uh, you know, at Bristol, um, I think he made a difference. Um, so yeah, um, it's looking, especially midfield as well. Uh, we, we don't look as in pass off. It would be a little bit lightweight in midfield, and that, that's not looking case now. Um, and I think that's helping all team out. I think midfield's one of the most important parts of the team for me, uh, and you can tell that now mm-hmm. uh, with depth that we've got as well. But yeah. Um, yeah, couldn't have done that no better than I would. Um, and what goals that we scored as well. World-class goals, aren't they? Uh, excellent to see in different aspects, how they were worked and finished. Um, brilliant goals. Well, I saw... I, I mean, we were asking Punch and it, you know, seemed to keep on with sat there. And I, I always like, no matter what manager, gaffer, coach, or whatever you want to call them, uh, I always like to keep an eye on them, see how they're trying to dictate play and stuff like that. And yeah. I saw, I think it was a stopping play. I don't know what it was, free kick or something like that. And I saw, you know, Luke Connell get called over and he's like, you can see Duff. And all of a sudden, I'm like, Karen's gone from left to right. And yeah. and my son says, what, what, what's Karen doing out of here? And I, I, I says, he must have seen something to switch it to temporarily. And it turned out that, you know, he picked ball up, Karen, where he was, yeah. get it a belt, and it was like, oh my god, where did that come from? I know, and it, it, it caught it sweet, you know, it caught it, it sweet. I watched it a few times this morning. I'm like, yeah, it's a little better and better every time you see it. So, yeah, it's not bad, wasn't it? Where I was sat in West Stands, um, in the corner at like Ponty, if you want me at corner flag, when it was down there at first, I thought. That's Williams, that. What a strike that was. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I, I realised it was Cadden, but yeah, brilliant, brilliant goal. I couldn't even know that on Xbox, uh, that type of finish. It just amazing. And I think that's confidence that plays, isn't it? To, you know, play together, you know, while while you're here, if you're feeling confident in your son, a great tribute because you put ball underneath his, his shirt, obviously new ball yeah. uh, with that. So that was a great touch. 2-1 at half-time, then, Andy. I mean, when... Um, they come back. What were, were you ever at, sorry? Two one. Two nil. Half time. Two nil. Uh, two nil half, half time. So for me, yeah. we got into half time uh well, but they come out more or less straight away, didn't they? It, it was two one just after half time, wasn't it? Were you ever yeah. concerned at one point that it was well, mm, I don't yeah. know about this or were you? Yeah, I was. I was, yeah. I, I wanted at least another goal me before half time. And uh I think we could have been a little bit not disappointed a bit, but probably a little bit frustrated that we didn't. Um, mm. I thought we had his chances. Mm. But yeah, 2-0. Um, I mean, at West Stand, out of all seats, um, one of my snooker mates uh, what, sat at side of me, which I didn't know about. I didn't know he'd got that t- uh, seat. And he was saying 2-0. Uh, it's you know, It can be a bit of a dodgy scoreline at half-time. And I expected a reaction uh, from Portsmouth and... I mean, all credit, the, that goal that they took, he took it well. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, he yeah, yeah. didn't have a, a chance for it, but thought it could have been prevented. Um, but yeah, after that, I thought, here we go. You know, but mm. uh, we, we we sent to keep his heads and uh, yeah, took third. And yeah, um, but yeah, it, it was definitely squeaky bum time for me when uh, they pulled one back. But like I said, I was expecting a reaction from him because... They're a good football inside, and we we aren't uh, we aren't fought him. I hope he's here. Look, <laughs> Ryan's here. So I hope Ryan. All good. I guess I can't. I can't hear you. Two seconds. Sorry. All right. No worries. Right. So yeah, Andy. I mean, when it when it got to two one, uh, I said to my son, I said, I just feel that there needs to be like. Uh, uh, so I think some shoots were med. And yeah. what, what pleasing for me with substitutes is that we've got strength on the bench line yeah. now. We've got Benson, we've got Luke Thomas, we've got yeah. uh, uh, Tedich. We've got different options there. And I'm thinking, yeah, do you know what? 
it would all for, for me it was gonna be are we reacted going to one down and I yeah. thought we like sent to like up his gear a bit more a bit more impetus in it. I don't know what your take on that is Andy. Um yeah um I, I mean I, I thought bench again looked really really strong um and that's good to see because times we've come on this uh, channel and said you know are we benches in well past seasons and whatnot but uh it's looking strong, and some players can't even make bench at minute. Um, we've still got that show to come in. Uh, I don't know if he's uh, lacking match fitness or match sharpness. And go on, that uh, lad who we got from Ireland. Uh, is it Cotter? Cotter, Barry Cotter, yeah. Barry Cotter, yeah. I don't think he won top bench, was he? Um, yesterday. So it, that's what you want as well, um, especially at this stage of the season. Uh, and I thought, yeah, I thought Duff. Um, did subs at right time. Um, probably keep uh, Colin Norwood injury free for next game against Plymouth. Um, I just want Tadic to score now, whether it comes off his thigh or uh, he just needs a goal. Uh, does lad? Mm. Yeah, I just felt confidence about. Yeah, Ryan. So yeah, well, welcome, mate. We've just been having yeah. a bit of a recap on uh, Portsmouth game and you know, uh, good all round performance. Just on about that. Uh, ticket office, uh, handled closure at East End well. Um, yeah, brilliant job. You know, yeah, a, a lot of volunteers and stuff like that working the socks off uh, through no fault of your own. And I thought it was as fans as well, pretty patient and kind of took it on the chin. And that uh, just going on to, uh, I'll get your thoughts about the Portsmouth game and we're we'll going to Plymouth game. So, what were your general take on it, Ben Ryan? Portsmouth game, it were a, I think, a good solid, my opinion, and what one has been saying, a good. A good all-round team performance. Uh, you know, we took game to them. Goals, Cadden's goal. A lot of a lot of positives to be taking out of the game going into the uh, Plymouth game, Ryan. Yeah, absolutely. I thought we had a, I, to be honest, I thought it was a really good performance. Um, you know, right from offset, we were at them right from the offset. You know, I think we, we, we played some fantastic football last night. We really did. I think we really displayed what I've been saying, you know, all season is when we get that ball down and we play and we play through midfield, we, we, we do put some really good moves together. I think, you know, Connell were fantastic. Some of the turns he did in midfield to turn him away last night, it, it, it was tremendous again, money, Connell. You could see how much we missed him from Saturday. Yeah, I um, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just, he, yeah. I, I thought it was an all-round solid performance. And what I were really pleased with, particularly pleased with, you know, Portsmouth seemed to come out quite strong in second half. And they got a goal, and it was a good goal as well. But we didn't fold. We just didn't fall. We just mm. crept back on, and we, and we stuck to the. You could see they had a they had a, a game plan. They stuck to the game plan, and they kind of went, went and got that two goal lead back. Mm. You know, there's especially last season we, we'd we'd have probably folded there, wouldn't we? And, and I think that mm. yeah, you can see the the mental toughness throughout the team is to just right. We're going to go behind, and fans got behind them, and all you know we did we got yeah. behind them, didn't we? When when, when it went down, mm. it was like come on, let's crack on, because you could see we were a better team. You could see that we could win this. Mm. You know, win that game and. I, I, I was particularly pleased with that, that they didn't capitulate and they didn't fall under pressure. They actually got back, you know, went and got back in another great goal, um, you know. So, yeah, I thought it was an all-round great performance, some good goals. First goal were a great team move, great finish, you know, very composed finish by by Norwood. <clears throat> um, Nicky Cadden, absolute crackerjack, cutting in front. I didn't even know what he was doing down that side, to be fair. <laughs> I couldn't remember, yeah. just, he just sort of popped up down that side and then he's cut inside. He cut inside from right and he smashed it with his left peg and it flew in, didn't it? Um, yeah. And then the third again, great breakaway goal. Norwood again, put great ball in. And I actually thought he'd done too much. I just thought he'd gone too far. And it mm. turned out to be a great ball and Devante were there to pop it in. So, can't really fault it. And like Andy was just touching on before, just as I come on there, we've got a really strong bench. You know, we've got strong players coming off the bench. They're not they're not making it look a, a bit earlier in the season. Sometimes I felt that when as when as first eleven started going off, we got weaker. You know, it made the side weaker. I don't think it makes us weaker yeah. now. I think it's just no. it's just it's just like a, another option as opposed to making us, you know, making us a bit weaker. It's just giving us something else, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. all around really pleased, mate. Yeah, I think we we can't again, like I said, bit for derby game. We can't go in any in to that game without being in better form, can we? Hmm. Yeah, true. I mean, looking at fixtures uh, coming up, uh, Plymouth. And just before I get to Plymouth game, I'm going to give a shout out to Alan Phillips. 
Um, because I don't know if any anybody saw that. Uh, I, I stayed well in them that like with players, and he came on with a lady from oh. the marketing side, so a bit t- a bit, bit shirt for young lass who uh, went on social media with t- t- t-shirt and that signed shirt. So it was great touch by club and Adam Phillips as well, and fair play to club for stuff like that. I mean that's yeah. it, you know, uh, a dad messaged me on Twitter. Um, because I said it were a great a touch, a great gesture, and it, his words were like, Yeah, she's proper buzzing, it's meta day, meta, meta, meta week, and she's yeah. happy as old. And it's like fair play, simple things, but uh, you know, it it means so much to us as fans, yeah. Uh, and people probably take things for granted, but pleased to see something like that to make someone's day, and uh, fair play to club for that. So, yeah. Andy, uh Brian just been touching on it, you know, for uh, his form, his performance, derby game, and uh, Bristol still unbeaten yet. Uh, going, you know, obviously Portsmouth 3 1. Plymouth Argyle, another another tough test. They won as well. We, we know about yeah. that. But it all well. I mean, a game, it's going to be a different challenge, a different test. This, are we going to keep on his unbeaten run? Um. Well, you'd like to think so. Can't see any reason why not where we're playing. I'm just hoping this weather books up um, mm. for Saturday. We don't want to take game to be in doubt. We don't want backlog of fixtures. Uh, no club does now anyway. So that, that's my main concern, just weather. Um, that says it all, really. Um, I ain't got a problem me uh, playing Plymouth. We're playing just as good as anybody. Yeah. Um, and, you know... Um, Plymouth, they'll be uh, tested and they'll be uh, weary that they will be in a game because, uh, yeah, we're, we're waiting for them at the right time. Um, so I ain't got a problem, uh, really. I, I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, I just hope this snow uh, bogs off and uh, keeps game on. Bring them on. Come on, let's go. Uh, that's <laughs> Andy's words. Like, come on, yeah. it. Let's, let's have it. Like bloody wrestling talk, beer, Andy. Um, <laughs> right, Ryan. I mean, uh, just t- going on from that. I mean, it, it, it's all making it a, another good game uh, against Plymouth. Yeah. Another side what's in form, like Andy touched on, and we are as well. So, making it's going to be probably turn out to be a dull draw, like, but uh, kiss the death in it. What you normally say about two decent teams are going up against one another, but again, would I think yeah, it's going to be a pretty easy question. Would you make any changes? For this no. game coming up, no, no, no. That starting eleven for me is our strongest. I think that's our strongest eleven at the moment. Yeah, I think that's our strongest eleven. Even, even, even Collins. I don't know. I don't know if he's still injured or not, but I still play instead in front of him. I think he's good shout yeah. back because I run about yeah. that to my son. I said, "Do you know what? If and when Collins does come back from injury, would you be able to drop his? I, I, no, no. Call that. I'd he's be flying. Me. He made two. He made two good saves. And I, I know. I think." Ref end up getting a free kick right to end in it, but yeah, uh, he made two good saves in that little in that. Um, his reaction around, like a so, it's unbelievable, isn't it? He so he spreads himself so well. Yeah, he's he's mm. really he's quick. He gets he gets out and cuts the angle down really quick and spreads himself really well. He's he's he's, he's really light on his feet in it, and mm. his distribution. Whereas Collins' distribution is not poor, it's a bit slow sometimes, isn't it? You know, sometimes yeah. lads will fly it. You know, you'll see Williams or Cadden fly out wing and they get going. And he just holds on to it. And you just think, that yeah. should have gone. But he's dead giving it him. Gone. He's giving it in and he's giving it him. And we're turning him around really quickly. So, yeah, no, can't see any changes for me, Neil. I think it's. I think that is definitely our strongest 11 at the moment. So, yeah. And even bench and all, it's like competition yeah. on, on, to get on bench now, isn't it? Like Andy said yeah. earlier, he's like, Ollishaw can't get on, Cotter can't get on. It's, it, it's competition being like now, isn't it? And again, it's pushing players for, for yeah. the place. Is it? You know, I don't know if we're sure if it's fitness because I said last night when them two when when uh, Waters and Thingy come on, when Waters and uh, Tedich come on, Tedich. you know, I thought there must there must be something in it. He's either he's injured or he's not fit because why would club be playing two lone strikers when they've mm-hmm. got when we've got players that we've actually bought? You'd have thought we'd have been trying to get those guys in first. I suppose, well, you know, as a substitution. Um, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I'd say, but um, yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to it Saturday. I can't wait. I can't wait because I, I I don't think we should have, you know, be afraid of anybody. You know, we're playing as good as anybody in that league at the moment. 
So, so even Rice didn't bring it on. Andy, you're really like wrestling talk on everybody now, I'm mate. You're going to be doing chair shots, isn't it, mate? Carry on at this rate. Yeah. Where's the hell, Andy? So, yeah, mate. Uh, <laughs> and we haven't even mentioned Josh Martin, have we? To be fair, even another player who's, you know, yeah. uh, well, we'll move on from that anyway, Andy. I could tell you. <laughs> first, mate. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, school prediction and probably your, your most influential player, it's going to be an island base. Uh, for you, Andy, mm. score and uh, predict it was going to be players than that. Um, and did you agree? Sorry, uh, yeah, did you agree with man at match yesterday? That run over, I meant to ask as well. well no, I would. I, I thought they were quite a fit. Well, not just a few, I think um, you could have picked anybody, but mm. I, I agreed with Norwood man at match. Yeah. I thought he, he, he just played a complete forwards role, um, mm. yesterday. So, yeah, I agreed. Uh, we, I thought Cadden yeah. played well. Uh, I think he was a very, very close sec. But they all were. Uh, they, they weren't a bad performance on pitch. Um, mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you could have picked anybody. But yeah, I was happy that Norwood got it, and rightly so. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, um, Plymouth results. Going to be goals in it. Well, I'm hoping so. I hope I put a uh, kiss of death on that light. But uh, I think a 3 2. Uh, to Barnsley, I think, like I said, I think there will be goals, uh, goal fest. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, yesterday, like I think I've said before, sometimes it goes under the radar. Uh, but Adam Phillips, uh, again, I thought he deserved a contention for man of match. He, um, his balls from midfield, his through balls that he plays, mm-hmm. a very, very important player. And I think he will be against Plymouth. So I'm going to go for him. Oh, good shout. Uh, yeah, Ryan, same again, mate. I mean, did you agree with Man at Match uh, from Portsmouth game and <clears throat> school prediction? And who do you think will be influential on day against Plymouth, mate? I think, yeah, I agree, I agree with Norman last night. He did another great game. Mm. His, his finish was so composed. That's that's where the yeah. um, that's where the experience comes in. He didn't flat. He just stroked it in, didn't he? And again, he's mm. run and he's, 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 he's assist for, um, for, for Devante. And I think... I think he'd probably deserved it against Derby as well. So it was good to actually see him get it, um, mm. you know, get his efforts rewarded. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think, but like, like Andy said, I think there's argument for anybody. There's a lot of players could have got it last night. I thought Jordan Williams had a great game. Yeah. I thought, I thought Williams had a fantastic game. That one where he did it end where he slit, he cut his, because he's so quick. I think he's deceptively quick for players. I think it went down on their left. And he's actually, he's run across, slid in, slid tackle, and he's turned it into, you know, he's got ball and turned it around, turned it into an attack. Yeah, and yeah. you know one of many strengths uh, he's, of uh, of Williams is that he's de- deceptively quick in he? <laughs> mm-hmm. um, especially over short short things, uh, short um, distances. But for score prediction, oh, I think they'll score Plymouth Plymouth because they've they've got a very good attacking team. Um, they score a lot of goals, but I think we're going to I think I think we're going to have enough to beat them, and I'm going to go three one Barnsley. Three one Barnsley. Good shout. Yeah, I, I'm going to go in Norwood as well. And like what you both said, I think we're a few players in contention. Uh, Cadham, um, Williams have fought at a decent game. You could tell that Luke O'Connell uh, were missed against Bristol Rovers. No respect to uh, Russell. Uh, but I think when... I think when even though Connell were in, uh, injured or not right, well, in whatever it was, he come back into side and well, back into it, back up to match speed over here. It, it won't like uh, we could tell we're a bit off at pace or not. It were in it, it were getting tackles in, we're trying to dictate players if, like, you know, the Connell we know kind of thing. So, yeah, uh, there were a few players in Ishted as well, pulling off some uh, mm. right saves and stuff like that. Distribution, like you said, via. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go with Norwood. Um, and not just for his goal, like what you touched on via, Andy, it, 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 uh, Ryan, sorry, but he put it a well, so composed and that. But his whip rate off at ball and bringing others in, and he he can tell he's he's just like confident in his sense, his own ability, and he's wanting you know through ball for Devante calls. Mm. So Norwood for me. Again, I get we he both coming from is going to be goals in this, and like I said, Plymouth's an attacking side, and all. Andy said three two, uh, Ryan said three one. I'm going to go two one, uh, I'm, but I'm hoping it's not going to be a cagey affair. I'm hoping it's. Just, no, so I'm hoping it's 2 1. I'd like it to be a 2 0, but I just think with Plymouth 5, we've got the attacking 
capabilities. Uh, we're all, we're also like a bit susceptible and all sometimes just to. I want to switch off, but just lose that bit of laps like we did against Derby. You know what I mean? It, but yeah, we can get too far in front and not quite sure of them, but a bit too confident. And also, it just takes one ball and you get someone like a McGoldrick for Derby to go through and he punish you for it. So yeah. I think we need to be clued on so he could get a shout out for Bobby Thomas or Anderson. Yeah. Uh, for me on day, I get where you're both coming from as well. We, you know, with players and that. I just think that is is it minute? I just think Luke Connell because I think we we missed him. We missed him in the the Bristol game for the starting playoff and dictating stuff. And I think when coming back against Portsmouth, you could tell he was there. So I'm going to go for Plymouth game. I'm going to go for Luke Connell because I think if he can start holding ball up and. But the one thing I'd like to see sometimes on on some free uh, sorry on his corner kicks because I know he was getting a bit of jip off it. Portsmouth fans were you know when it was supposed to be not in it, it, you know quarter circle for uh, corner and then straight from it he like a bit of fluffed it and skidded it. But then after I'm like just put them killer balls in because we've got the height inside um, and you know get back to them kind of things where we can utilize it on on a set pieces. So for me two one Luca Connell. Uh, most important player. Um, and again, it's going to be after. I mean, look, looking at the fixtures here. So we've got left light now for March only. We've got Plymouth Saturday. Then it's Wickham away following Saturday. Midweek, Ben in South Yorkshire, other side, <laughs> coming over. Um, Ipswich Town and then Exeter away. So again, there's some, there's still a lot of conundrums, twists and turns there, Andy. I mean, Realistically, you look at Plymouth, Wickham, South Yorkshire neighbours, Ipswich and Exeter. Could you see us losing out there? Well, I, 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 when I say losing, I don't mean like, or you know, uh, a draw is a loss. I'm on about, yeah. could you see us like losing any points in that? Well, I was saying to Maddie um, yesterday at March, as daft as it sounds, my only concern are to them is Exeter one away. Uh, really? Midweek, yeah, midweek. Um, long trip down, um, yeah. rearranged game. Um, I just hope it don't like take it out at players, and you know, they'll be up for it as well. Um, yeah. so yeah, in a strange way, that's me only. I, th- I think it's a potential banana skin, uh, that one. Um, others, like I said, we, we, we're playing as good as anybody else at league, so we should be scared, but uh. Yeah, that does it sound. Good talk again, and bring it on. Chair shot, table. <laughs> tables well, like the chair you know, here, Andy. Yeah. I, I look like Dwayne Johnson, done I? So you know, <laughs> might as well. Bring it on. So Andy's saying, bring it on. We can fresh them all. Um, if you don't, we'll we'll get barbed wire match art and Noel's bar match and everything here going off. It's, it's all kicking off, Randy, in the background. Right? Yeah, you can't see him. He's still here. Um, yeah, Ryan. I mean, just going back to that thought. For games I've just read out of here. Can you see us like lose any points? You know, I mean, a draw's not a bad result against some of these sides, but can you see a loss in, in them? I mean, could could there be? Because we're playing some quality teams, aren't we? We're playing some, you know, playing like lads that are up, teams that are up at top at top end of the division. So could we? Yes, we could. You know, Wickham mm. are very strong at home. Yeah, I don't think we'll get beat. I don't think mm. we'll get beat. Do I think we'll win them all? I, I, I hope we do. I really do. Will we? I don't know. I think there might be one or two draws in there. Um, yeah. You know, like particularly like, like Andy just said, Exeter away midweek rearranged fixture. You know, it could be one of them, the horrible games, a bit like Bristol away game. You know, where we just they make it difficult yeah. for us, and 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 they, and they made it very difficult for us when we played them at home. But yeah, they did. A lot earlier in the season, we we're very different. You know, we've got a very different sort of squad and attitude now, aren't we? So, but hmm. potentially, yeah, potentially, yeah, yeah. I mean, can we win them all? No. Can we lose them all? I won't, I'd say no again. But again, for me, it would be play every game as we, as we come. And I think, and what's going to be interesting for me is, as well as we've got to play such as your Plymouth, South Yorkshire neighbours and Ipswich, they've also got to play amongst the Sens as well. So if we, even if we draw, say, against Ipswich or... Uh, Plymouth is that they haven't got away from us. We're still in contention with us. 
but it's his games in hand, and I get where you're coming from and all. Probably after all them, you look at the extra game and you can see that being like a Bristol Rovers where they're going to alter their play, they're going to fight doggedly, they're going to disrupt us, and it'd be down to us to try and get a result from there um, and a win. But yeah, apart from that, I think, no disrespect, but I, th- I think when kind of teams, his next four uh, games we're going to be playing, I think it'll sort us as in we'll be able to play our kind of brand of football yeah. and implement on it. So, yeah, good good shout, boys. Uh, appreciate that. So, Andy and Ryan, appreciate you for taking your time out. I know it's uh, we work and been busy and everything. People who are watching, please like, subscribe and share. Let us know your comments as well. Let us know your man at match. Let us know your thoughts about the upcoming fixtures. Let us know your score predictions as well for Plymouth game coming up. Uh, Andy says it's going to be a, a table headed chair match and it's going to be goals all over the shop. Uh, Ryan says there's going to be goals in it, so it's all good. Uh, and, we're all, and we're all going for a balance of win. Uh, and again, it's just going to be form, that belief, um, and all being well. Uh, snow, baits, and we, we've got a game coming on. So, Andy and Ryan, appreciate you taking time out. Uh, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. No One thing left to say. You Reds. <laughs>